Hey everybody, Joshua here. I want to let you know that my new book, Things That Matter, Overcoming Distraction to Pursue a More Meaningful Life, is now available everywhere books are sold. Things That Matter is a book about living well. It's a book about overcoming the distraction of a world focused on all the wrong things so we can reach the end of our lives with minimal regrets. And I know it'll challenge you to live a more meaningful life. So pick up a copy today. Minimalism is the intentional promotion of the things we most value and the removal of anything that distracts us from it. It's about focus, intentionality, and making the most of the one life we've been given. It's also a growing movement all around the world. This YouTube channel is a great example of that. Thanks so much for being here. But there are many who still misinterpret the term minimalism. They think it's about barren walls, cold environments, empty cupboards, but they're mistaken. Minimalism isn't about owning less than you need. It's about owning exactly what you need. And correctly applied, minimalism results in more money, more time, more focus, and less stress. It results in the opportunity for a life of greater joy, greater meaning, and greater significance. If you're drawn to the benefits of minimalism, but still apprehensive, here are 10 things you can do today to test out the lifestyle and live more like a minimalist. Number one, remove one box of clutter from your home. Minimalists own fewer possessions. As a result, their homes feel more peaceful, more calm, more spacious, less stressful. Now, you might not be able to declutter your entire home in a day, it took us nine months, but you can certainly make a little bit of progress in one day. So try to remove one entire box of clutter from one room in your home, and then notice the difference it makes. Number two, clear off one surface. Every physical possession in our field of vision results in visual clutter. Our eyes naturally gravitate to the things around us as we scan our surroundings on a constant basis. So find one surface in your home that you can clear entirely today. Bathroom counter, a coffee table, a shelf, a nightstand, and remove everything from it. Notice the freedom found in that clear surface. Now imagine that feeling throughout your entire home. Number three. Don't buy anything and put $49 into savings. It's unbelievable, but the average American spends $18,000 a year on non-essentials. That's $49 per day. So if you want to take one small step toward living more like a minimalist today, don't buy a single non-essential item. Then put that $49 into a savings account. And tomorrow, do the same thing. You'll be surprised how quickly your account will fill up when you stop buying stuff that you don't need. Number four, go for a long walk. Walking is good for the soul and the body. It provides opportunity to think and reflect on life. So if you want to live more like a minimalist, just go for a nice long walk today. Notice how it feels to have some extra time in your day to breathe and relax and listen while you walk, consider the direction of your life if you're living it to the fullest potential. Would removing some distractions allow you to focus more on things that matter? Probably. Number five, turn off notifications on your phone. Minimalists work to remove distractions from their day, whether it be possessions, appointments, or unnecessary notifications like email or social media, or even text messages. For the rest of the day, turn off all notifications on your phone except for phone calls, even text messaging. See how it changes the way you feel. Tomorrow morning, turn on just the notifications you actually missed or keep them all turned off. Number six, eliminate one obligation. Minimalism extends beyond possessions. It sparks intentionality in all areas of life, relationships, habits, and our schedule. So today, eliminate one obligation from your life that you don't enjoy and doesn't further your greatest potential, passions, and pursuits. Make the phone call, send the email, cancel the reservation, whatever you need to do, reclaim your life to live it the way you desire. Number seven, make up one game with your kids. 
Studies show us over and over again that fewer toys are beneficial to our children. Advertisements might tell us that the newest toy will result in a better childhood for our kids, but that's simply not true. Fewer toys consistently provide opportunity for deeper play and imagination to develop in your family. So grab a few existing toys in your home and make up a new game like an obstacle course and play it with your kids tonight. You'll see the value of less, the unimportance of always buying new, and you'll have a great time together as well. Number eight, wear your favorite outfit. It's true, most minimalists own fewer clothes than other people. But not because owning fewer clothes is a sacrifice, just the opposite in fact. Owning fewer clothes means everything hanging in my closet is my favorite. There's nothing I'd rather wear than my favorite outfit every single day. I don't wear black v-neck t-shirts just for these videos. I wear them every day and I love it. Today, wear your favorite outfit. Notice what you like about it and then imagine a world where you get to wear that every day. Number nine. Turn off your television one hour earlier than normal tonight. Because minimalists have embraced a more intentional approach to life, they remove unhealthy habits. And for me, removing television was one of the most important. And while I still sit down to watch sports with my son or an occasional series on a streaming service, television is no longer a focal point of my life. It no longer robs me of life and potential. So tonight, turn off the television just one hour earlier than normal. Use the free time to talk with your spouse, write in a journal, go for that walk, or you can go to bed an hour earlier. Almost anything you choose will be more worthwhile. And number 10, do one thing you love today. The greatest thing about minimalism is that it frees money, time, and energy for your greatest passions. This is the greatest benefit, in my opinion, a life lived focus on the pursuits that result in true happiness, joy, meaning, and fulfillment. So today, do one thing that you love. Then imagine yourself doing more of that thing every single day from here on out. And you'll start to get a small picture of why people continue to flock to the message of minimalism. Minimalism isn't about living a boring life detached from reality. It's about rejecting society's version of reality and living a more focused, intentional life on your own terms. So try out just one or two of these steps today and begin experiencing what the rest of your life can look like. You'll love minimalism and you'll love owning less.